The High Court of Yevon is now in session. All rise. <laughs> Welcome to Judge Judy, everybody. The sacred officers <laughs> of this court seek nothing but absolute truth in Yevon's name. Welcome back to, to Final Fantasy X, by the way, everybody. Yevon, and speak only the truth. Maester Kelk Ronso. Summoner Yuna. You have sworn to protect the people of Yevon, true? Yes. Then consider. You have inflicted dire injury upon Maester Seymour Guado. Conspired with the Albed and joined in their insurrection. These are traitorous and unforgivable crimes that disturb the order of Yevon. But he did the same thing. Maester Seymour did the same Tell thing. He killed his dad and he conspired with the Albed as well. Participate in such violence. Your Grace. The real traitor is Maester Seymour. Objection! Overruled. His father Jiskel with <coughs> his own hands. What is this? Hmm? Haven't you heard? <laughs> Not only that. <laughs> Didn't you get the memo? Maester Seymour is already dead. It is a summoner's sacred duty to send the souls of the departed to the far plane. I'm glad we picked Lulu Luna to be our defense doing her attorney. Job as a summoner. <laughs> Grand Maester Micah, please send Seymour now. They all have really bad po posture, send actually. Send the unsent to where they belong. Except Elmer Ford, he's pretty good, posture-wise, yes. and Seymour. It's really only these two old timers. <laughs> They walk around all stoopy like. Maester? Send the dead? Hmm? Uh. You would have to send me too. Jeez, I see dead people. What? Grand Maester Micah is a wise leader. Even in death, he's invaluable to Spira. Enlightened rule by the dead is preferable to the misguided failures of the living. Life is but a passing dream, but the death that follows is eternal. That's almost like if in Night at the Museum died, they decided to just make died, the, the Roosevelt died, wax sculpture the president. <laughs> Only the power of death truly commands in spirit. Resisting its power is futile. But what of sin? I am a summoner, my lord, like my father before me. I am on a pilgrimage to stop the death that sin brings. Are you... Are you telling me that too is futile? Grand Maester Micah, I am not alone. All the people who have opposed sin, their battles, their sacrifices, were they all in vain? <laughs> it's like Yuna's Lindsay Lohan moment. No matter how many summoners give their lives, sin cannot be truly defeated. The rebirth cannot be stopped. Yet the courage of those who fight gives the people hope. There is nothing futile in the life and death of a summoner. Never futile. But never ending. Exactly, it's just like a never ending death cycle. Indeed, that is the essence of the heaven. Lord Micah. The heaven 
is embodied by eternal, unchanging continuity, Summoner. That can't be right! There he is, Elmer Fogg. Those who question these truths, they are traitors. Then let's be heretics, it's way more fun. Lord Micah! It's not been an easy couple of episodes for poor Waka. Everything just keeps falling apart that he here. believes in. Now. You hear me? Yuna's kind of getting fired you up though. Jeez, it looks like we borrowed these from the last game. For Final Fantasy IX. Don't they have any yeah. other prison I hope Yuna's and okay. apparatus? Hmm. She's strong. She'll make it. She'll make it? What, so she can die? <sighs> Why is it... Everything in Spira seems to revolve around people dying? Because if you can control uh, death, you can control spiral. power, yeah. I guess is what it is. Huh? Summoners challenge the bringer of death, sin, and die doing so. Guardians give their lives to protect their summoner. The faith are the souls of the dead. Even the maesters of Yevon are unsent. Spira is full of death. Only sin is reborn, and then only to bring more death. It is a cycle of death. Spiraling endlessly. <sighs> I knew there was a re reason Aura never in went into morning talk radio. <laughs> That's not exactly the most um, encouraging of speeches there. Come out. Your sentence has been decided. And what is it? One sentence? bullet left? Don't you mean execution? <laughs> really now? What person would execute a dear friend? You would. <laughs> Orin the Cynic. Don't you just love him? He wasn't always like this, you know. And there's these two laughing boys now. Are they gonna execute us? Looks like you're next. Uh, next for what? Into the birdie boiler. <laughs> Not the birdie boiler. <laughs> Get going. <laughs> oh my god. Where's everybody else? <laughs> Floating down there somewhere, maybe. It's an oubliette. What's an oubliette? <clears throat> Apologies for my voice if my voice is a little bit weak in these episodes. Ooh, or if I'm coughing. Made it. Um I, I have some sort of like a, a frog in my throat or something or What's sore our throat. Sentence? Think they expect us to give up and die down here. Sounds like a plan. Oh, well that's a lame way to kill someone. <laughs> Where's Uni? I don't know. Wonder if we should wait for her. Yeah, cause she's just gonna come swimming mm -hmm. along here, you know. Let's wait at the exit. If there is an exit. To this oubliette. It's where you put people you want to forget about. How fair is the run so missed? It seems my father's murder troubles him. <laughs> Ever the Ronso. What's that supposed to mean? Ronso are good people. <laughs> Hard to use them. However, the summoner Yuna, daughter to High Summoner Brasco, she may be of some use to us alive. She has disturbed the order of Yevon. She cannot be allowed to live. 
I understand. Let it go, Seymour. No one thrown into the Via Purifico has ever survived. Yet there is always a small chance that they might. Place guards at the exit. Kill any who emerge. Sir, leave that to me. Mm. Oh. First your father, now your bride. Allow me to do this because she is my bride. Yeah, he needs to turn her into a corpse bride. Wait, I will go too. You do not trust me? Would you trust a man who murdered his father? <laughs> I like your way of thinking, Kina. As you wish. Actually, his posture is almost the other way the other way round. Like Kel Kranz and Mike are all Lady stooped Yuna, over. Me. And and Keenock is all like leaned back, like all weird. So here we are in the Via Purifico, which has really, really um cool music. Um and basically we start off as Yuna all alone. Poor Yuna. Um, and we're going to have to try and put our party back together because uh, quite a lot of them are down here somewhere. I'm just going to take this opportunity to save now that we passed that, um, now that we passed that, uh, that cutscene or whatever. Um, so yeah, apologies if my, um, if my, um, where are you going, Yuna? Yuna, you can't, like, do that. I think it's like the analog stick is going all weird. That happens sometimes. Um, so yeah, we're basically just going to be wandering around down here. I'm pretty sure the first one is up here. Oh no, there's a chest. I was like, I'm pretty sure the first one is up here. No. You do, you will run into random encounters here, especially if you're ambushed. It's kind of a pain in the backside because Yuna is quite vulnerable all on her own. Especially if she gets confused by these guys, which I'm pretty sure can happen. Um, you can, like, summon stuff, but to be honest, I just kind of like to, um, how do you run? Escape. I just kind of like to run away because it's just a pain, it's just a pain in the backside. It's just really annoying, so. Oh, I thought that was a chest, it was just a shadow. Oh, well, it shows what I know. Is there something back down here? Well, no, Kamari's up there, so let's get Kamari first. So we actually have something that we can do here. Kamari, a sight for sore sorry eyes. Sorry we left you alone. No. It's okay. It's funny, I would, like, in, during those cutscenes, I was just kind of thinking, um... Micah actually looks kind of... He, he doesn't look unlike the, um... The Emperor in... Final Fantasy XII, Joe the father of, of Larsa and and what's his name? He doesn't look unlike them. So I'm just gonna defend as him as her first. Sometimes Kamari can hit these guys, yeah, there we go. Don't confuse oh fuck's sake. Okay, summon. We're gonna summon something here. Ixion. recording for like 15 minutes and all we've seen is like that giant cutscene even though I must say I really like that because it's kind of that that long cutscene with the court um with the court sentencing I think like up until now Yuna thought that maybe um all the kind of things that Seymour was doing he was kind of just kind of um he was kind of um, he was kind of renegade you know or key knock or whatever and it still wasn't the way of, of Yevon that they were following, you know? Whereas now, I think what's after dawning on her is that actually the... It's it's like they say in German, they say the fish stinks from its head. That's what they say. All the time, and it's like, oh well no, the, the top is actually completely rotten as well, you know? Oh, we found Oren. That's very useful. There must be an exit somewhere. We search. If you say so. You have these panels as well that'll teleport you around the place, but to be honest, I don't really ever use them all that much. 
pretty sure there are some treasures you can get by using them, but it's not really worthwhile. God. Is see, taking this thing out without um, Lulu is going to be a pain in the ass. Unless I just use Oren's um, Overdrive, that might work. Or I just summon again. Let's get it, give everyone else a chance first. I should have healed myself, maybe. That might be an idea. An idea. Yes, that's very important that we heal. Um, seeing as I'm here. Or I suppose you could use an Albed potion with man. Actually, that's something that I might be able to... Do you know what? I might as well just use the overdrive that, that hits all of them. And see if that kills them. Didn't do us? Okay. Well, you know what I could do? I could use and use a, a an electro marble and see if that does it. No, for fuck's sake. He can't have that much HP. Yeah, 403. That still did 600 damage, probably because of piercing. Got to get Yuna's sphere levels back up. That's very important. Um, but yeah, I think like it, that court scene where she sees that actually Maester Mika is completely is is um is acting that way as well. I think that really does kind of um show her. Oh my God, no! It's it's everything. Everything is wrong. Everything is wrong here. And the things that I thought I believed in actually aren't what I thought they were at all. So it's quite a powerful, powerful moment for these idiots. That shouldn't be too hard. So let's see what's in here. So I think we, we really only have to find... We know where... Um, we know where... Um, Riku, Waka, and Titus are there somewhere else, so we're really only looking for Lulu now, I guess. Wherever she's hiding. I think we're like right back at the start now, actually. Let's see, what does it. Can we actually use this? No. Let's go up here. We haven't gone up here yet. Well, here's one of these things. Oh, did it just send me to the right straight away? I thought it was going to like give me a chance to actually select what I wanted to do. Well, this is where we were with Kamari. So let's see if we can go up. Oh, we'll just go back to where we came. Okay, left. Down. No, I don't want to go down. I've been down already. I want to go up. There we go. Still don't any excuse to listen to this music. And it kind of reminds me as well of like um, Midna's Lament a tiny little bit. It's a similar kind of like haunting piano theme. Okay, we haven't been here yet. Okay, here I am. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, here I am. I'm back now. Um, as if like you noticed that I was away, but actually in the middle of that battle, I actually just went to the bathroom. I'm pretty sure I've been up around here before, but... That being said, I don't think I went all the way up here. Oh, which is a dead end. You see, that's the thing. You need, like, the... You need, like, the, um... You need the floor panels, then, to get behind places like that. But during that last battle, I went to the bathroom I for, like, about place. ten minutes. So, yeah, I hate this place as well, Orin. Um... So yeah, that's where I was, that you didn't notice, just because you really needed to have that information. Um, yeah, I think I am getting some sort of a cold, I just sneezed there. Yeah, so maybe if we go to the left from, from this panel, isn't that where we want to go? I don't know. Or if we go up around here. That looks like it's the exit to me, let's try going to the left. Let's see where that takes us. Because we've got to find Lulu, we can't just like exit the... Oh, we can't go left from there. Hilarious. 
Thanks for offering it to me, so floor panel. I wonder what happens if you don't, like, find all of your party members before leaving the Via Purifico. I don't think- I don't think I've ever been in that situation before. What the hell is this? Is that, that- that's that thing. That's one of those things that's in, um... That's one of those things that's in the... the Thunder Plains, isn't it? Oh, that's a maze larva. It's a different type of larva. Great. Just what I always wanted. How much HP does this thing have? That 40? So yeah, let's see if we... if going up along here brings us somewhere. I'm kind of conscious of the fact that we haven't found our defense attorney Lulu yet. But hey, we're getting some good sphere levels, especially for Yuna, since she was out for a party for so long. Ooh, Orin learned the overdrive move Slayer. Well, I don't know, I'm always, like, torn between, like... Whether to give them Slayer, or whether to give them the one that just kind of, um... Oh, see, this is the end, isn't it? I'm kind of afraid to go forward. Let me just explore a bit for a while, I'll meet you back here. Oh, there you are. Lulu. Hi. It's okay, I know. This, this strategy they have of just kind of waiting in one place until, like, someone finds them is, like, the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life, like, I swear. But apparently I haven't, like, explored down here at all, so if I didn't see that... This is just all over on the, on the western side, on, like, the... the well, apparently I was down here, because I got this chest. What's this, though? Whatever that did, okay. <laughs> apparently I was here, considering that I got the, um... That I got the chest. Because I think we pretty much have everything done here, even though we still didn't find our way into where that, um... That treasure chest is actually. Did I ever actually just go up from here? I don't think I ever did. Or at least I think I did, and then I just went straight onto this thing. But look, okay. What's in here? I guess we'll never know. We're gonna have a lot of sphere gritting to do after this. Jeez. Okay, so look, there's another chest in here, though I should probably, um,. I should probably heal everyone, shouldn't I, really? So, water's in you. Black magic. This, this is like really useful stuff. Does this go to where that treasure is? Or, or no, we're just having an out of body experience. Whoa, okay. I don't remember this at all. Oh, but look, now it's like gone up there, so what we can do is use that to get in past the door. Okay, now I remember. Now I... Well, no, not, I don't remember, or now I know what to do. So is this open up here now? No. Well, oh, it is. Okay, so look, we can just go up here. Okay, now I know what we're doing. Jesus. Because going up here, we should get up to where that thing is after moving itself to. See? And then we just get on it. Okay. Oh fuck, maybe now we have to like go all the way down to that thing where we found Lulu. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just try it, I guess. Okay, I can't figure out what's going on here. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments what the story is. 
because I've been wandering around here trying different things and it is just not working. So um, I'm going to do the sphere grid real quick. So if anyone doesn't want to see the sphere grid, speak now or for or leave now or forever hold your peace. Um, because I figure like having about like five or six levels is a good point to get her done for these characters we have out here today and then finish the video. The recording is up to like 51 minutes but a lot of that is either battles or me going to the bathroom or me wandering around the place so I'm not really that worried about that. The video might end up being a little bit long but you know who, who cares. So what is down here actually? Demi? Is Demi even that useful? Is what I have to ask myself. Do you know what? I'm gonna- I'm, I'll be annoyed with myself if I don't bot- where am I at the moment? Where actually am I? I'm here, okay. Oh, I only have two levels to go, okay. I might as well just go down here. I'm gonna get it, even though I don't think I ever use it. Yuna is the one where we're going to have the most work to do here. Um, <clears throat> just because I'll be annoyed at myself if I don't get it. Even though it didn't, I don't think I bothered getting those like null blaze and null freeze and all of those kind of things. Which theoretically could be useful in this area if only for like null tide. If only for being able to like block the water attacks or whatever. But I think we're going to be getting something quite useful down here. Yes, reflect. Okay. I'm glad we got this now because that's going to be actually quite useful um, in a boss battle coming up. So, glad we got that when we did. So, Kamari, let's have you continue bobbing along on, um, on Riku's sphere grid. I'm kind of glad that he is down here, actually, because I'm pretty sure it's all the accuracy and stuff like that that, that he gets down here. Which is allowing him to hit those flying enemies and those fast enemies. Because he was hitting those lizards and things as well. Which are normally um, especially reserved for Tidus who is fast and accurate. Um, and I think it's really only the fact that he has like the high agility and stuff from Riku's sphere grid that is letting him do that. So that's a pretty short sphere grid session down here. Um, in the next part we're going to finish up down here in the Via Perifico. Um, and yeah. I'll see you next time. Let me know in the comments what the story is with that thing, if, you know, so so that I know. If it's something earth-shatteringly good, then I might even go back to an old save file and get it, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Thanks for watching, and bye now. Okay, let's try this. Oh, now it has the arrow on it. Okay. I actually, sorry, like, for tacking this on to the end of the video, but um, I actually looked up what the story was with the inactive pad or whatever, and apparently, according to one comment that I found on Game Facts, um, according to one comment that I found on Game Facts, it's like it only works if you use it from, like, the very beginning. So that's the story there, but actually, this is. Is there anything, like, back here? I feel like this in Final Fantasy IX, you would have had like other stuff here or something. Or look, there's another chest here. And 10,000 gills. So, Lucid Ring, I'm pretty sure that kind of stops um, confusion. Um, I'm pretty sure that stops confusion. And the other one, the Skill Sphere, that's quite useful as well. One thing I've kind of been considering. Is whether I shouldn't just like teach Yuna haste to have like no that's not what I wanted to do. Whether I shouldn't just like teach Yuna haste using one of those like white magic spheres or something like that. Like that's something that might actually come in really really handy. To be honest. But anyway, um, that's it for the via. No, that's not where I wanted to go. That's it for the via purifico. I will see you guys in the next part. Bye now.